महाभ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कर्तृभ्यो शिर्षिभ्यो महद्यो नमो गुरुभ्य सर्वोपलो हरित प्रज्ञा रघण प्रत्ये कर्त ब्रह्मस्मी ब्रह्मस्मी नारायण पद्म भुम वशिष्ठ शक्ति तत्पुत्र पराशर च्यास शुकं गौड़ पदम महांत गोविंद योगींद्र मथा से शिष्य श्री शंकराचार्य मथा से पद्म पाद हस्तामलक शिष्य तंतोटक वार्तिक कारमस्मदुरू सततमस्मी शक्तिस्मृति प्राणा आलें करुणालय नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव वादरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने लोभवद्व्याय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहना सह नौन सह वीरकवाहे तेजस्वीनावदीतमस्तमाशावे ओं शातिशा आमनायांत्रकसंसिमध्यावर्जित आनंदघन आपूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे सो वी वेर एट दि थर्ड दि कर्ण एंड दि थर्ड सूत्र वेर दि इंटरप्रिटेशन इज टू फोल्ड शास्त्र योनिवाद कैन मीन शास्त्र से योनिवाद और शास्त्र योनि ही यस्य ब्रह्मण सर्वज्ञ तस्मा जगत कारण सो जगत कारण ब्रह्मा ईश्वरा कैन बी जगत कारण ईश्वरा कैन बी जगत कारण ओनली वेन ही इज सर्वज्ञ बिकॉज पॉट मेकर हैज टू नेसेसरी नो दी पॉट दी ब्लू प्रिंट ऑफ दी पॉट हैव नॉलेज ऑफ दी पॉट ही शुड बी घटज्ञ दी घटकर्ता शुड बी घटज्ञ प्रायर टू मेकिंग दी घटा सिमिलरली जगत कर्ता ईश्वरा शुड बी जगज्ञ एंड जगत इज सर्व सो ही शुड बी सर्वज्ञ देर वॉज एन ऑब्जेक्शन दिस वॉज एंसर्ड बाय से नो इट इज ट्रू दैट ईश्वरा इज सर्वज्ञ हाउ बिकॉज ही इज वेद करता जस्ट गिव मोमेंट टू कु सेल फोन ऑन म्यूट ओके सो शास्त्र से योनिवाद ब्रह्मण सर्वज्ञ बिकॉज ईश्वरा इज शास्त्र कर्ता ऑल्सो हाउ ही जस्ट री मैनिफेस्ट दि शास्त्र द वे इट वॉज इन दि अर्लियर कल्प सो देर इज नो पौरुषेत्व दोष इन वेद बिकॉज ऑल दो ईश्वरा इज अ पुरुष सुप्रीम पुरुष बट स्टील ही इज नॉट दि क्रिएटर the way any worldly person is a creator of any text an author so it is not the word which was used in the vritti was tasya upalabhya rachitatva anangikarat upalabhya rachitatvam nasti vedasya it is not that knowledge of shastras is gained by other means by ishwara and then vedas have been or shastras have been created it is not so it is then how is it gained so there you see tapa tapa roopa or tapa not tapa also tapas is also not the way we understand in the world but it is jnana matram jnana matram tapa he already has jnana because he chaitanya roopa jnana swarupa itself so that was one interpretation now the second interpretation is yadva yadva optionally jagat karanatvena brahmani lakshite tasya manantara gamyatvam ashankya ah so other way to look at this sutra is jagat karanatvena brahmani lakshite lakshite is lakshanam krute when the definition is given for brahma first there was an objection lakshana bhava there the janmadyadikaranam gave the lakshana as 
जगत कर्ता ब्रह्म सो जगत कारण ब्रह्म जगत कर्ता ब्रह्म जगत कारण ब्रह्मणी लक्षित सती लक्षण कृते सती सो द ब्रह्म लक्षण इफेक्ट ईज जगत कारण डेफिनेशन देन तस्य मानांतर गम्यत्व आशंक्य देन वॉट विल हैपन देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट इट कैन बी नोन बाय अदर मीन्स हाउ एनी करता एनी कारण ऑफ समथिंग कैन बी नोन थ्रू अदर मीन्स इन दी वर्ल्ड दिस इज जस्ट अ वर्ल्डली अंडरस्टैंडिंग एक्सटेंडेड बाय दी नैयायिका टू ईश्वर ऑल्सो बिकॉज एनी कारण इन दी वर्ल्ड कैन बी नोन थ्रू सम अदर मीन्स ऑल्सो Shabda is not necessarily the only pramana. Meaning, shabda is not the pramana. If other pramanas are there, then shabda is not considered as a pramana. Pratyekshadi anumana make it possible to know, uh, possible to know, karana of anything. So here, what is said is that because jagat is a karana, uh, uh, Ishara is a jagat karana. Jagataha karana Ishara Brahma. Then, just like any karana known in the world how because everything is a karya we saw yesterday in fact we i mentioned yesterday that karyatvat jagatah karyatvat karanam asti iti siddham anumanena siddham there cannot be any karya without karana so the tarkika is saying that if jagat karana karanatvam is the brahma lakshana then why do you need shruti to tell you that karana why does why does shuti shabda need to be pramana for that because i have a i have a simple anumana says the puro pakshi jagat is karya siddhanti says yes so karyatvat ghatavat karanam asti there is karana why karyatvat hetu therefore jagat karana is definitely there and it is known by anumana why do you need shruti to tell you that is jagat karana ishwara is jagat karana to that the siddhanti says that how do you know that it is ishwara and how do you know it is one you cannot know therefore shastra is the only pramana so manantara gamyatvam is puro pakshi siddhanti says that manantya manantara gamyatvam nasti how will see सो शास्त्र योनिवाद लक्षण प्रमाण निर्णयार्थवाद एक संगति सो वट इज एक एक इन दि अर्लियर सूत्र अर्लियर अधिकरण देर वॉट वॉज से जन्माद यथ इन दि जन्माद अधिकरण जन्माद यथ इज दि लक्षण ऑफ ब्रह्म एंड हियर प्रमाण फॉर दैट इज गिवन शास्त्र योनिवाद हेतु इज गिवन सो दिस प्रमाण why is in, here you are establishing what the objection given is jagat kar, karanatva is not possible because sarvajnatva is not possible for brahma ishvara cannot be sarvajna because vedas are outside his fold of knowledge because vedas are nitya and thereby jagat karanatva nasti ayoga jagat karanatva cannot be lakshana and that is proved by saying shastra yonitva at least we will look at the second interpretation but the first interpretation we have seen shastra yonitva was the hetu so it is a pramana and lakshana was given in the second adhikarana so second adhikarana and third adhikarana have a single phala what is that was to siddhi there is something called as brahma that brahma is jagat karana it can be known only through shastras this is the siddhi lakshana pramana bhya was to siddhi since lakshana and pramana both are needed for vastu siddhi for here vastu is brahma padartha for nayayika we will say brahma is the vishaya here that vishaya does not exist that can be the argument because lakshana is not there pramana is not there lakshana and pramana have been given so lakshana pramana abhyam vastu siddhi therefore lakshana pramana yor nirnay arthatvat means vastu siddhi arthatvat because lakshana and pramana are artha prayojana for nirnaya nirnaya means to establish nischaya of a vastu and that vastu here is brahma therefore second adhikarana and third adhikarana have ek phalatvam sangati both have the same phala to establish brahma atra purva pakshe anumanasya eva vicharatva siddhi 
सिद्धांते वेदांत वाक्यान मिति फल वेदा सो पूर्वपक्षे पूर्वपक्षी से इन पूर्वपक्षा अनुमान इट सेल्फ इज सफिशियंट एंड देर फोर शब्द इज नॉट नीडेड यू डोंट नीड टू ब्रिंग अ ब्रह्मास्त्र देर शब्द प्रमाण श्रुति प्रमाण इज नॉट नीडेड We have simple anumana and it is understandable by anyone. Therefore, anumana se eva vicharatya siddhi. Whatever vichara you need to do, you do with anumana. Why do you bring in shruti vakyas there where there is no vicharatya siddhi there? Here itself we can use anumana. Pratyaksha, we have seen any karya through pratyaksha pramana. We know that all karyas have karana. So Anumana tells you that it is extens extensible to the entire prapancha. Therefore, jagat has to have a karana. We don't need shruti as a pramana there. Siddhanti Vedanta Vakya Nam. What we Vakya Nam Eva Eva Vicharatya Siddhi. Not only Vicharatya Siddhi, but Eva Kara will also go there. Vedanta Vakya Nam Eva Vicharatya Siddhi. Vicharatya here in the case of moksha. Vedanta Vakya alone. can give you brahma so vicharatya siddhi kasmin vishe brahmani brahmani vishe in the brahma in the case of brahma there is no other pramana brahmatma why so how can you make such a statement ask the purva pakshi to that the siddhanti says well there is upanishadic statement itself which says which says what tanto upanishadam purusham prachami grihat mantra se ityadi vakyam vishaya de The vishaya for establishing this sutra. What is the vishaya there? Tanto upanishadam tam tam two upanishadam purusham prachami. The shishya is asking the guru in the upanishad in brhat brhat mantra that I am asking you about asking you about that purusha which can be known only from upanishad. Upanishadam purusham is upanishad eka gamya purusham prachami. That purusha which can be known only from the Upanishad, not anything else, no pratyaksha, no anumana, no arthapatti, none other pramana would work in that case. That is the kind of purusha I want to know because through dhyana, through all sorts of karmas, bhakti, what can I know? I can know only that which is objectifiable. The objectifier himself is revealed. in the mirror of the upanishad to see the eye the eye can see everything the eyes the eyes can see everything but to see the eye the eyes are not sufficient they are needed definitely needed just like for shruti because this is an argument that dwaitins bring in just an aside on a related note do see whatever has a dependency is a weaker pramana this is established this is acceptable to all but the dependency is not a generic dependency it should be a specific dependency so dwaitin would say if an advaitin were to argue that shruti is pramana for aikya of jiva and ishvara shruti is the only pramana there the dwaitin comes and says do you need eyes and ears let's say you are doing shravana for that do you need your ears do you need your shrotrendriya shrotrendriya is pratyaksha pramana so your shravana of vedanta vakyas which reveal the aikya which you claim to be the pramana vedanta vakya is a pramana to that pratyaksha shrotrendriya is needed therefore your shravana of vedanta vakyas the shabda pramana has dependency on shrotrendriya therefore pratyaksha will take precedence this kind of an argument is useless by that you will say that everything is dependent on pratyaksha therefore pratyaksha is the only pramana that is not true this is all generic dependency what we look at is asadharana karana not sadharana karana sadharana and there are uh, subsidiary or you know these uh, sahakari karanas there are many in the case of ghata we take murad as karana upadana karana clay and then we take the kulala as nimitta karana 
the intelligent cause or the efficient cause. We don't bring in the donkey which is used to carry the mud. Without the clay, you cannot make the pot. That is asadharan karana. We don't bring in the donkey which is used to or a cart or a, any you know truck in the modern era to carry the clay. That is also needed. You cannot have clay without somebody bringing it. Some truck bringing and loading it. You cannot have the truck moving without the driver. All these are sahakari karana. They, are, they have no place here. Anyatva Siddha is there. So, you can bring all of those through different means. What we are looking at is without which there is no possibility of karya. That alone is asadharana karana and that alone is counted as karana. Asadharana need not be mentioned. But this is an important aside because some may think, you know, I, I cannot have this jnana without, you know, what XYZ. So, XYZ is important. XYZ is subsidiary. It is not pradhana. So here also what is being said is that Shruti alone can give you that Purusha which is the Tatparya of Shruti. So the eyes are Pramana alright for everything that to you see. But to see the eyes, there you have to say that, oh to see my size, eyes, I do need eyes. But then eyes are not sufficient. I need the mirror to look into my own eyes. Similarly, to look into my own Swarupa, who I am objectifying everything, I need something to reflect me. That reflection is definitely taking place in the Antakkarana. Because of which I have become a Chidabhasa, there is Chidabhasa and I have associated with Chidabhasa as Aham. That is the whole problem. So I have to di differentiate myself, my own Swarupa from Chidabhasa. How can I do that? I need a mirror which is not going to be biased. That mirror, meaning a mirror which is not going to bring in a bring in a delusion, bring in a confusion, it will not be an illusion the way it is there in my antakkarana where I am very closely associated. Nobody else can see my antakkarana alone, I alone can see. Just like, you know, if you want to make a neutral assessment about someone, that someone should not be very close to you. Otherwise, a relative or a very close friend, you cannot be objective. So, you need something which is an unbiased mirror there. And that mirror is Shruti. That alone can give you your true Swarupa. So, Tanto Upanishadam Purusham Prachami, Tanto Upanishadam Purusham Prachami, Ityadi Vakyam Vishaya. Thereby Siddhanti says, it, Vedanta Vakyanam Eva Vicharatva Siddhi, Brahma Vicharatva Siddhi. Then, so this, uh, anyway, uh, I hope the, this thing, I am not repeating what I said earlier, this Anumana Seva, his Anumana is Ankuradikam or what we saw is Kshitankuradikam uh, Jagat Sakartrukam definitely has Karta because of what? Karyatvat. Because Jagat is Karya, the Ankuradi Jagat is definitely having a Karta, is Sakartruka. Why? Because it has it is a Karya, Karyatvat. What is the example? Ghatavat. So they will extend this to. Ishwara Siddhi or Brahma Siddhi. Whereas Siddhanti says, Ishwara Ekaha Eva. Iti Shrutya Eva Jnatum Shakyate. And thereby, Asadharana Karana for Jnana of Ishwara and Ishwara as Jagatkarta to be one is only Shruti. Otherwise, Prasada Dishu Virodha. You have Virodha in the palatial mentions where. Kartas are many. There are many contributors. All are Pradhana. Without them you cannot have a palace. So all are them, all of them have to be counted. It is not one Karta. So by Anumana, you can assume that there is a there, there is Karanatvam. Meaning the Karana Karana exists, but that Karana is one or two or many or how many you wouldn't know. For that, at least you will have to bring in Shruti. And once you have brought in Shruti, 
then it will tell you to what extent and in which manner ishwara is karana whether upadana karana or nimitta karana or abhinna nimitta upadana karana which is what shruti says abhinna nimitta upadana karana ishwara exists and that is you finally it will end up saying that is you thereby tanto upanishadam purusham pruchami establishes that purusha who is said to be jagat karana can be known only from upanishad ityadi vakyam vishaya tat kim brahmana shastraika gamyatvam samarpayati uta na iti sandehe brahmana siddha vastutvena manantarena api avagamyatvat na samarpayati tat kim shastraika gamyatvam samarpayati uta na so na samarpayati is purva pakshi iti purva paksha so tat kim here unfortunately this pop up comes in yeah okay so what i am going to do is that uh, let me just highlight it and let it go okay so this is a vakya we are looking at tat kim brahmana tat is what tat vakyam ityadi vakyam vishaya tat vakyam tanto upanishadam purusham ityadi there may be others also which are there in the upanishad so kim tat vakyam or ityadi vakyam there may be many such vakyas all the all all such vakyas in the upanishad kim brahmana shastraika gamyatvam samarpayati do they bring out or reveal that brahma which can be known only through shastra meaning one they reveal brahma okay purva pakshi says okay they reveal brahma but only those vakyas reveal brahma that i do not agree with because anumana is also pramana that is his perspective so sh- here the sentence is what not brahma samarpeti but shastraika gamyatvam brahmana whether they reveal that brahma can be known only through the shastra utana or no it can be known through other pramanas also iti sandhe prapte sandeha sati brahmana siddha vastutvena purva pakshi says brahma is siddha is a siddha vastu what is the siddha vastu it is already existent you don't bring about brahma as a result of something when the purva pakshi says that i do some karma or you do some karma that time the swarga or punya papa which re- which leads you to swarga or other loka or sukha dukha prapti in this loka itself or another janma in whichever loka with whichever body all that is not siddha siddha does not mean proven here siddha is something which is already existent not sadhya siddha here means not sadhya not something to be attained not something to be gained it is not something which is generated so brahma is not something which is generated it is ever there nitya brahma now karma is something that brings up phala that phala is not existent here your vishaya is brahma and what is your phala in the anubandha chatushtaya you said that ajnatatvena vishaya gnatatvena prayojanam or phalam so you just have to know that brahma exists which is unknown that time it is a vishaya once you know it then that itself is phala brahma veda brahma yo bhavati bhavati there is not becomes knows that he is already brahma now this brahma is already there it is not like punya or papa which is generated therefore it is a siddha vastu brahmana siddha vastu tvena and due to brahma being siddha vastu manantarena api avagamya manatvat something which is already existent is knowable through other means why do you need shastra for that why do you say it is only shastraika gamya because brahma is existent whatever exists can be in ghatavat again ghatavat he says brahma asti ghata which is not yet to be created ghata is already created that ghata so siddha ghatavat we will say siddha ghatavat there are many asiddha ghatas sadhya ghatas but here some siddha ghata is already there 
the potter gives you a sample you go and say i want to make this kind of a pot have you ever made this kind of a pot i need this size you know this kind of a circumference all the specifications give you want a some special you want some special kind of pot and you want it to be sturdy whatever it is you give the specifications and you say oh i need some kind of a some kind of an example can you show me what you have done what kind of pots have you created something like this earlier he says yes i have he goes gives you a sample so that siddha vastu can be known through pratyaksha pramana siddha ghata similarly brahma is siddha so siddha ghata vat brahmana api siddha vastu tvena manantarena api avagamya manatva it can be known through other pramana also therefore what न समर्पयति सो शास्त्रे गम्यत्व ब्रह्मण न समर्पयति तंत उपनिषद पुरुषम इत्यादि वाक्यम दीज स्टेटमेंट से दैट ब्रह्म कैन बी नोन फ्रॉम शास्त्र बट नॉट ओनली फ्रॉम शास्त्र कैन बी नोन थ्रू अदर मीन्स ऑल्सो बिकॉज ओनली बिकॉज इट इज सिद्ध इफ यू से कैन पुण्य बी नोन नो पुण्य इज टू बी जनरेटेड सो पुण्य के नॉट बी नोन बाय एनी अदर मीन्स इट कैन बी नोन ओनली थ्रू शास्त्र सिमिलरली पापा Not a siddha vastu. Swarga also no. Not a siddha vastu. Swarga loka may be there, but swarga for you, the sadaka who wants uh, the upasaka or the karmi, you karmi or upasaka who wants swarga the loka. That loka is not siddha for you yet. You will have to earn adrushta punya. and that kind of adrushya punya which will lead to that loka therefore it is not siddha for you therefore for you it is not says the purva pakshi it is not shastra anya prama manantarena gamya it is not manantara gamya all that is sadhya vastu here brahma is siddha vastu therefore manantarena api gamyatvat so what is he saying because it is siddha vastu it is nitya so brahmana siddha vastu tvat mean nitya tvat siddha vastu tvat phalatvena udbhutatva abhava that's what he is saying it is not a phala it is not going to be udbhuta as phala for the sadaka it is ever there for all sadaka it is existent therefore tasya siddha vastu nah dharma vat vedajanyatvam nasti it is not vedajanya and since it is not veda janya therefore veda is not pramana for this veda is not the only pramana for it he, he can even go ahead and say veda is not pramana but he say it is not shastraika gamya it is not veda ek gamya manantarana means what oh, samudra samudra is already there instead of ghata we take samudra which is you know it is not created any anyway. it is already there so samudra is there there may be people who have not seen uh ocean so let's say you know old era where traveling from the north to let's say from uh, you know places like himalayas some you know or even delhi for example delhi does not have an ocean around so they cannot come down to the west coast or you know gujarat onwards downwards or go to the south on the or east coast and see the samudra so somebody who has not seen some that's why we have in vyakrana we have these examples of uh, uh, bahuri example of drishta samudra drishta samudra will not make sense in today's era because almost everyone has seen samudra except you know very poor people who have you know no basis to or you know those who have never left their place need not be poor but they have never left their place and they are born in the north they have not traveled but seeing this but drishta samudra also there it is uh, specifically uh, the samudra where you know kanyakumari where multiple oceans merge which is basically tirtha sthala where uh, you take a dip and you will have uh, taken dip in all rivers because all rivers merge in one of these oceans and all oceans are have a sangama there so that kind of a, that kind of a meaning is more likely with drishta samudra but otherwise you take a simple meaning of drishta samudra drishta samudra yena one who by whom samudra has been seen he has traveled a lot and he seen the samudra to the basically what it means to the boundary of the land that's that's how much he has traveled and seen the ocean ocean is siddha the samudra is siddha and it can be known by other means so he returns and tells the 
person who has not seen the samudra that i have seen the samudra this is then he asks what how does it look like what is the samudra it describes devadatta describes to yajnaratha devadatta is drashta samudra yajnaratha is not drashta samudra he has never seen samudra so shabda pramana is there he is explaining what the and he is devadatta is an apta for yajnaratha he is explaining what the samudra is yajnaratha says fine all this is fine but some day i'll go and i will look at the samudra and there pratyaksha pramana siddha it will be but it is a siddha vastu samudra is a siddha vastu it is knowable not only from shastra, uh, shabda pramana apta vakya pramana of devadatta devadatta's shabda is a pramana for yajnaratha but then it is also knowable through other means pratyaksha pramana thereby Brahma is also like that, says the Puru Pakshi, and thereby Shastra Ika Gamyatvam Na Samarpeyati Tanto Oparishadam Purusham Ityadi Vakyam. He is the Puru Pakshi. Siddhanti says, as a counter, Siddhanta Stu Shastram Rigvedadi. What is Shastra? Basically, Sutra. No? This Sutra is for that purpose, Shastra Yonitvat. This Sutra, Shastra Yonitvat, is what? Siddhanta Stu. सिद्धांतस्तु शास्त्र ऋग्वेदादि योनि प्रमाण नॉट तत्पुरुषाणी वो बहुरी शास्त्र योनि यट इज दैट शास्त्र योनि दट इज सामस बहुरी तस् भाव तत्व तत्व मीन्स शास्त्र योनि तस्मा पंचमी हेतु शास्त्र योनि and what does shastra mean rugvedadi same as earlier what about yoni hi earlier yoni hi was karana here also it is karana but it is jnana karana it is karana for jnana therefore it is a hetu just like um let me just mark it so in the earlier interpretation the first prathama varnaka we saw That shastram, sha, shastrasi yoni hi karanam. Yoni hi means karana. Here also you can take meaning as karana and extend into pramana. Shastram yoni hi karanam yasya. A simple example, if you take of ghata and mrut, what is the relation? Okay, I'll ask a question here. This will make it a little interactive. Between ghata and mrut, which is the karana? Ghata is karya. so which is karana mrut is karana now if i ask if i ask as to uh, let's say in the case of parvato vanniman dhumat so in the in that case ghata and mrut it is very clear that mrut is karana for ghata in the case of dhuma and vanni agni and vanni the fire and smoke which is the karana for what that is the question what is the karana for what is fire the cause of smoke or smoke the kar- karana of fire vanni is the karana vanni is the karana fire, for dhuma no smoke. right so in the first interpretation shastrasya yoni hi karanam there it is like vanni is the karana for dhuma now dhuma is also karana for what dhuma is karana for can anyone guess what is it karana for dhuma is karana vanni jnanam vanni jnanam so there also it's karana this is the second interpretation shastram yoni hi yasya so there shastram yoni hi karanam yasya देर शास्त्र यूनि कारण कस्य कारण इट इज नॉट ब्रह्म कारण ये इज ब्रह्मण बट शास्त्र यूनि कारण ब्रह्मण मीन वॉट ब्रह्म ज्ञान से इन दि अर्लियर के शास्त्र यूनि कारण देर ब्रह्म इज शास्त्र कारण वेद कारण वेदकर्ता वेदकर्तृत्वा कारण इन दिस केस कारण लाइक वन्नी can be known vanni jnanasya karanam dhumah meaning what hetuhu 
धूमात इज हेतु एंड ऑल्सो वॉट फाइनली विल से प्रमाणा इट विल वर्क एज प्रमाणा अनुमान प्रमाण ऑफ कोर्स बट देन प्रत्यक्ष इज बेसिस फॉर दैट प्रत्यक्ष ऑफ धूमा इज बेसिस फॉर वन वन्नी ज्ञान सिमिलरली हियर शास्त्र से योनि ही इज ब्रह्म इज कारण फॉर शास्त्र हवेवर शास्त्र योनि ही अस्य योनि ही कारण कारण हेतु मीनिंग ज्ञान ब्रह्म ज्ञान नॉट ब्रह्म ज्ञान द वे वी अंडरस्टैंड एज ऐक्य ज्ञान बट ब्रह्म लक्षण ज्ञान ब्रह्म कैन बी नोन ओनली थ्रू शास्त्र एंड ऑफ कोर्स ऐक्य ऑल्सो विल से ऐक्य ऑल्सो एवरीथिंग रिलेटेड टू ब्रह्म देर फोर प्रमाण इज ए मीनिंग एंड मीनिंग बाय कारण एक्सटेडिंग कारण मीनिंग ज्ञान कारण सो ब्रह्म ज्ञान कारण शास्त्र शास्त्र ऋग्वेदादि योनि कारण ब्रह्म ज्ञान कारण यहाँ सो ये ब्रह्मण ज्ञान कारण प्रमाण तत्तोक्त तत्व मीन शास्त्र योनि तस् भाव शास्त्र योनि दट इज तत्व तस्मा वेदक प्रमाण मीनिंग वाट वेदक योनि विच इज प्रमाण मीनिंग देर फोर प्रमाण तदेक गम्य मीन शास्त्र गम्य समर्पयती डेफिनेटली इट दीज वाक्या द ग्रूप ऑफ वाक्या तंतोपनिषद पृछा and such statements definitely reveal brahma which is not an objection which is not uh, i mean which does not have an objection from the purva pakshi but what is being said is that it reveals brahma and it is the only means that reveals brahma therefore shastraik gamyatvam samarpayati iti siddhanta yattu manantar gamyatvam now सिद्ध वस्तु देर फोर ब्रह्म बींग सिद्ध वस्तु समुद्रवत शास्त्र गम्यनातर गम्य सो मनातर गम्यस्ती से पूर्वपक्षी वाट वॉज सैड बाय पूर्वपक्षी यू मनातर गम्य ब्रह्मण अभाणी पूर्वपक्षिण तया पूर्वपक्षिण यदाणी वाट वॉज सैड बाय यू द पूर्वपक्षी एज ब्रह्म इज मनातर गम्य वाय वॉट हेतु The hetu was because it is siddha vastu. Siddha vastu tvat manar manantar gamyatvam manantar gamyatvat shastra ek gamyatvam nasti. This is the puro pakshi's thread of anumana. Then siddha and this is that is not true. Why? Tasya rupa dya tasya brahmana tasya brahmana rupa dya bhave na tad gamyatvam asambhavat tad gamyatvam asambhavat. चार्किका से इज दैट फॉर प्रत्यक्ष रूप हैज टू बी देर एंड प्रत्यक्ष इज ऑफ व्हाट इफ यू डोंट टेक ओनली तार्किया वेदांती आल्सो अद्वैत वेदांती से इज फॉर प्रत्यक्ष व्हाट इज प्रत्यक्ष शब्द स्पर्श स्पर्श रूप रस गंध रूप हैज स्पेसिफिकली मेंशन हियर बिकॉज तार्किका से इज दैट फॉर एनी प्रत्यक्ष यू शुड हैव रूप दैट अलोन इज प्रत्यक्ष एंड देन इन द टीका देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डिस्कशन इन तर्क टीकाज हैज टू उद्भूत रूप और अनुद्भूत रूप एक्सेट्रा स्टडीडी That Ishvara who is Jagat Karta is not objectifiable. Some form he takes, that form may be objectifiable. So Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha in the Puranas or you know Avatara Purushas, they may be objectifiable. Their bodies may be objectifiable. But Ishvara, that Paramatma Ishvara who is subtler than Hiranyagarbha, who himself is not objectifiable. That kind of a brahma that kind of the brahma that not kind also that brahma because not one among many not a kind so that brahma rupadya bhavena agamya so is not gamya tad gamyatva sambhavat brahma gamyatva asambhavat iti dvitiyam varnakam 
So these are the two interpretations of the third Adhikarana Sutra. Nanu Itham Brahmana Shastrika Gamyatvam Abhyadai. Now, Puro Pakshi says, okay, you have established the Shastra Eka Gamyatvam for Brahma. But, <coughs> she says, um, uh, anyway, just uh, to make a closing statement here, this Tadgamyatva Sambhat means pra- where he was saying <coughs> Anumana. <coughs> I'm sorry, just give me a moment. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> so, where he was saying Anumana is a Pramana, what is being said here is that Rupadya Bhavena means Pratyaksha Pramana won't work. And Sit Puropakshi is saying, okay, I am not claiming Pratyaksha, I am claiming Anumana is possible. To which Siddhanti is saying Rupadya Bhavena Pratyaksha Bhavena. Without any of that being Pratyaksha, any of the Gunas being Pratyaksha, you cannot have Anumana also. In the case of in the case of Vanni, Dhuma has to be Pratyaksha. So here you and Dhuma is the Guna of Vanni, Dharma of Vanni there. So Dhuma is Pratyaksha based on which you have done Vanni Anumana. In the case of Brahma, you will not have Rupadi, which you can become Pratyaksha, based on which can you, you can do Anumana. Therefore, Anumana Gamyatvam is also not there. Because Pratyaksha Gamyatvam is not there of any Gunas of Brahma, so to say. And in the end, we will say Nirgunatva. So, that is the idea. Now, Nanu Itham Brahmana Shastraika Gamyatvam Abhyadayi Toya Siddhanti Na Tara Sadhu he said, you said, says the Puro Pakshi, <coughs> what was said by you is Brahma can be known only through Shastra, that is Asadhu. That is not the right interpretation. Why? Shastra se anya paratva ityakshipyah. Puro Mimamsa ka, or Puro Mimamsa is being brought in by Tarkika also. What is the purpose of Shastras? Whatever is the purpose of Shastras, or you look at any mantra or any uh, karma, any karma in the Vedas, what is the phala of that prayojana? Let's say Swarga. So, some Kamya karma is there, or Agni Utradi karmas are there, which are Nitya karmas, but without which you cannot get the result of Kamya Karmas also. So, Kamya Karmas which are there, they cannot have multiple Prayojanas. They will have only one Prayojana. You do one Karma, you will get one result. As a whole, if you take an entire package and then you talk about small bits and pieces of results as Adrashta, that is not the Adrashta result being talked about. You may get a little Punya here and there. But as a whole, as the entire Karma, and if it has upasanas, uh, this along with the upasanas, the karma, which is sangha, sangha karma, along with all its angas, it will give you swarga, let's say. And then you say, you know, along with swarga, it can give you some, uh, you know, ishta prapti also. Here you want something, let's say, it will give you that also. No, it won't give. Puro Vimamsaka says that it can have one prayojana. One thing cannot have multiple prayojanas. It will have one prayojana. For that you do some other karma. For another prayojana you do some other karma which will be revealed by the Shastra. So what he is saying is that the entire Shastra is committed to giving you Swarga really. That is Puro Vimamsaka. Shastrasya Anya Paratvad meaning Shastra is Anya Para. Anya Para means it is committed to Anya, something other than what? Anya, Anya from what? Anya from Brahma that you are saying that it is revealing. Shastra Tatparya is not to reveal Brahma. Its Tatparya is to reveal what? Karma and make you do the karma. Vidhinisheda Vakya is Pramana 
vidhi towards karma that you are supposed to do for the prayojana that is swarga swarga the loka swarga is a generic term really when you go to specifics then you say swarga is a different loka than brahma loka ityadi pitra loka but here shastra anya paratvam will take away brahma paratvam of siddhanti siddhanti is claim that shastra is brahmaika gamya that will not hold water because shastra is anya para that is the objection there why he gives he says that don't you know that shastras are meant for karma so he says <coughs> karma paratvam shastrasya anya paratvam means karma paratvam and to this he has given i think uh, i mentioned this uh, this is not in the vritti this is uh, a note that i had put in so apama somam amruta abhuma rigveda mantra comes to mind of the puro pakshi who says that there is a mantra which tells what is the purpose of the shastra what is the prayojana what is it connect committed to what is the tatparya what is it para anya paratvam is this karma paratvam and it is known by this rigveda mantra apama somam apama padhatu no any lakara whatever lakara this be lung lakara or whatever it will finally end up being meaning late or vidhi ling it will mean vidhi so somam apama let us partake of soma meaning soma yaga let us do soma yaga partake of soma not literally drink soma as a soma drinking soma ju- the juice of the soma creeper which is rare to find today it almost impossible but in that era also difficult to uh, get soma from you know very deep inside forest areas so that kind of a soma let us drink as part of the ritual the rich the soma does not give, soma is not amruta amruta abhuma let us become amruta let us become immortal let us all who are in this ritual soma ritual soma yaga be become immortal finally the purpose is that moksha is what nitya moksha you want right and this is what the soma yaga gives that is what the shastra is committed towards so as soma is not going to drinking soma is not going to make you immortal then vedas are uh, of no use the vedas tell you how to do the soma yaga in which soma drinking bits of soma is part of that that will not make you immortal but the ritual along with that small sipping of soma also will make you immortal this is one of the mantras he says there are others also akshay akshayam havai chaturmasya yajinaha sukrutam bhavanti iti purva paksha so he says akshayam akshayam is again kshayam na vidyate asya limitless purnatvam chaturmasya yajinaha sukrutam bhavanti so the the people who do chaturmasya yaga they for them whatever is the result the sukha that they get sukrutam bhavanti akshayam bhavanti akshay it is it is never going to go away that is nitya moksha how will you get it by chaturmasya yaga so soma yaga chaturmasya yaga these are what the shastra is committed towards tatpriya is you do soma yaga you do chaturmasya yaga therefore anya paratva shastrasya anya paratva is karma paratva soma yaga paratvam chaturmasya yaga paratvam all the karmas therefore what there can be only one prayojana these karmas not jnana that you talk about brahma revealed by the shastras this siddha vastu it is not to be attained it is already there what are you going to get by knowing it so further not mentioned here another thing that is objected through this is what are those vakyas then all these vakyas which do not prescribe karma they just reveal jnana about brahma they are all revealing karta finally what is brahma 
Shruti will say Tattvamasi, that is your claim, right? Your Advaita Vedanti in your claim, says the Puro Pakshi, is Tattvamasi, Brahma, Tomasi, you are Brahma. Then you will say Aham Brahma Asmi. Okay, we agree, that is the Jnana revealed there, but what do you get? You get the knowledge of the Karta of Somayaga and Chaturmasyaga. You, the Karta is Brahma and it is not literal. It is Arthavada. It is glorification, says the Puro Pakshi. He says, by knowing that you are Brahma, you are encouraged that you are such a great person, you do Somayaga, more of Somayaga, more of Chaturmasyaga. Because as per the Puro Pakshi Puro Vimamsaka, Amna Asya Kriyar Tattvad Anar Thakyam Atad Arthanam. This is a Puro Paksha to Puro Vimamsa also, but it comes in the Puro Vimamsa Jainini Sutras. So Puro Pakshi there says Amna Asya Kriyar Tattva. So you can consider that kind of a Puro Pakshi here. As another Puro Paksha who says Karma Paratvam. Puro Vimamsa. Sutra resolves this in a different manner. Being, you know, Arthavada, it is part of Vidhi. So it is finally revealing the Vidhi. In either case, they are opposed to Vedanti, who, are, who is saying that Brahma is the Tatpare Vishya of the Shastra. It is not, says, either the Puramimamsaka uh, Puropaksha, Tarkika Puropaksha, or also Puropakshi. Tarkika as a Puropakshi, Puramimamsaka or Puropakshi, or Puro Pakshi to Puro Vimamsaka in the Puro Vimamsa Sutra, who says Amnasya Kriyar Tatwad Anar Thakyam Atadarthanam. So Amnasya Vedasya Kriyar Tatwad, because they are committed to Kriya, Karma, therefore those which are not committed to Karma, meaning these statements which reveal Brahma, Tesham Kagatihi Anar Thakyam says the Puro Pakshi. Atadarthanam, Atadarthanam. Akriyarthanam, those who are not revealing a kriya, they are anartha, they are useless. They are the Puro Mimamsaka says, as a response to that Puro Paksha, he says, no, it is not true because they are revealing the karta. So they, they are, you know, subsidiary to vidhi. So all those vakyas being arthavada, arthavada is. A statement is an Arthavada when it is related to the Vidhi. So it is Vidhi Anga. And when it is Vidhi Anga, then here it will be Karaka. It will be revealing the Kartra Karaka. The Karta will be known. Just like, uh, you know, Soma is praised or any Devata is praised, the Karta is also praised in the Upanishad. That is the take of the Puro Pakshi, Puro Mimamsaka. And therefore, Shastra Sanya Paratvad, Shastra Eka Gammetvam, Shastra Sinasti, Iti Puro Paksha. And thereby, as a response to this, Samanvayadi Karanam. The Sutra is also one just like the earlier Adhikarana. The fourth Adhikarana, Samanvayadi Karana, also has one Sutra. Tattu Samanvayat, Tattu Samanvayat. So Tattu Samanvayat, three Padas are there. And what, is it, what does it mean? So Tat, Tat here is. Tat um, Brahma, which is being talked about here, Tat Brahma, Tu, Tu is, Tu is something which is taking away the objection of the Puro Pakshi. What is the objection? Shastraika Gamyatvam, Shastrasya, Shastraika Gamyatvam Nasti. Uh, sorry, Brahmana, Shastraika Gamyatvam Nasti. Tu takes away that objection, saying that Asti Tu. So what is, what is that Tu? Asti Tu. Puro Pakshi is saying, Brahmana Shastraika Gamyatvam Nasti and Siddhanti is saying, Asti Tu. Tad Brahma Shastraika Gamyam Asti Tu. Why? Hetu is given as to Samanvayat. Samanvayat means what? Tasmin Brahmani. Tasmin Brahmani Vedanta Vakyanam Shastranam. Samanvayat means Samyak Anvayat. Definitely all the Veda Vakyas have Anvaya in Brahma. Anvaya means Sambandha in Brahma. 
samya kanvaya not sambandha loosely they are deeply connected with brahma all these vakyas are committed to reveal brahma that brahma which is aupanishad purusha cannot be known through anything else that kind of brahma is revealed by all of these vakyas so what is the vishaya here the vishaya is vishaya is all the vakyas all the vakyas upanishad vakyas are vishaya in this case so here asya purva paksh purvena akshep akshepiki sangati same akshepa sam akshepa is there we have seen the akshepa as to shastra shastrasya uh, yoni hi which was said earlier or shastram yoni asya and therefore in the second interpretation brahma is known only through shastra so brahmana shastraik gamyatvam nasti iti akshepa therefore akshepiki sangati phalam tu purva pakshe mukshor vedanteshu pravrutti anupapatti hi siddhante pravrutti siddhi iti drashtavyam what is the phala of this adhikarana in the case of purva pakshi the phala is mumukshoho vedanteshu pravrutti anupapatti hi what you have established from the first sutra onwards athato brahma jignasa and there there by you have established what anubandha chatushtaya sambhavat that is atah atah is anubandha chatushtaya sambhavat ath sadana chatushtaya sampatyanantaram praptyanantaram brahmana jignasa kartavya this is what you said but pura pakshi in the fourth sutra he is saying mumukshu cannot have pravrutti in vedanta there won't be an adhikari for what you are saying and thereby your anubandha chatushtaya fall off so tattu samanvaya the fourth sutra if the pura pakshi is proven is not proven wrong then even the first sutra will stand it will fall apart basically it will not stand scrutiny the first sutra of the siddhanti will also not stand scrutiny and it will fall apart this is the pura paksha basically phalantu pura pakshe mumukshor vedanteshu pravrutti anupapatti hi why so why will there be no engagement of mumukshu in vedanta vishaya or vedanta vakya he'll give a reason because vedantas are not committed to brahma but they are committed to reveal karma by becoming anga of the vidhi vidhi vakyas siddhante pravrutti siddhi riti drashtavyam however siddhanti says no there mumukshu will engage into vedanta study the reason is that that alone can reveal brahma and what will the mumukshu get he will get moksha moksha ichchu mumukshu is moksha ichchu atra sarve vedanta vishaya vishayah all vedanta vakyas are vishaya here because all the vedanta vakyas are having samanvaya samyak anvaya in tad tad brahma therefore what to is shastraik gamyatvam nasti iti na so asti tu te kim karma shesha kartradi paraha uta nitya siddha brahma paraha iti sandehe so what is the doubt there vishaya the sandeha vishaya is te vedanta here vedanta vishaya so uh, sarve vedanta vishaya so vedanta here is taken as vedanta vakya but it is pullinga here sarve vedanta vishaya so all these vedanta the all these statements of vedanta mantra you can take mantra because it is pulling a with a basic meaning of mantra not uh, technical meaning of the purva mimamsaka te kim karma shesha kartradi paraha utan nitya siddha brahma parayati sandehe the doubt is whether they are committed to reveal the karta etc karakas and thereby becoming karma shesha they become pramana or karma shesha means they are dependent on karma they are subsidiary to karma finally the tatpare is karma and for karma you need all the kartra ityadi karaka you need karta yajmana you need uh, all the other karakas you need uh, karana adhikarana which kind of an agni you cannot uh, have any kind of agni particular kind of agni should be there in particular ritual so adhikarana karaka is there in adipada then patni is needed 
not all karma agni karya can be done by brahmachari but agni hotra cannot be done by brahmachari so needs a patni so all these uh, chaturmasi they all need a patni for the yajmana therefore patni will become a karaka karta is also karaka yajmana is a karaka then you will have all the karana through which will you offer what will you offer will you offer uh, vrihi will you offer yava or will you offer uh, dadhi what should be offered that will be revealed by the mantra so that will also be karaka karana karaka all these are revealed by the mantras so karma shesha kartradi paraha vedanta vakyas are also like that utan nitya siddha brahma para or are they revealing brahma which is nitya siddha which is already existent and ever existent iti sandehe अहेय अनुपादय सिद्ध ब्रह्म परत्वे निष्प्रयोजनत्व सापेक्षत्व प्रसंगात् कर्मशेष कर्त्रादि परा इति एव इति पूर्व पक्ष आई स्टॉप आफ्टर दिस सेंटेंस आई ऑलरेडी गॉन ओवर टाइम बट वी स्टार्टेड लिटिल लेट सो अहेय अनुपादय सिद्ध ब्रह्म परत्वे निष्प्रयोजनत्व सापेक्षत्व प्रसंगात् पूर्व पक्ष इति पूर्व पक्ष सो पूर्व पक्ष इज सेइंग दैट दिस नित्य सिद्ध ब्रह्म परा दि Brahma which is there or karma shesha kartradi para in this case Pura Pakshi is saying karma shesha kartradi para but what is he saying he is saying that Brahma which is revealed by Vedanta Vakyas which are not giving any vidhi what are they doing really then Brahma is being revealed by them they are revealing Brahma which is the nature of the karta really karta is Brahma says the shruti and it cannot be literal so it is arthavada it is a stuti to encourage the karta to become yajmana of chaturmasya soma yaga ityadi to do nitya karma etc it is just you know uh, encouraging by praising so it is prodding the person to become yajmana and it is prodding the yajmana to become superior and do more and more karma why because brahma which is revealed by the shastra in the vedanta vakyas they are ahaya and that brahma is ahaya and anupad anupadey ahaya anupadey means what it cannot be picked up or dropped you cannot have brahma which is picked up or dropped so ahaya is to give up anupadey is cannot be picked up meaning you cannot interact with that brahma you cannot do anything have no karma karma is what it says you offer dadhi then you have to pick up dadhi and offer so you take dadhi and then devata uddeshana uh, tyagaha so you have, you do tyaga based on i be saying that idam na mama indraya swaha idam na mama so that is what devata uddeshana indra devata uddeshana havish tyagaha so that is possible in the case of karma but shruti says you are brahma tattvamasi or whatever you know uh, yato vaimani bhutani jayante because all uh, vedanta vakyas are vishaya you can pick any of the vedanta not only maha vakyas any of the vedanta vakyas what is it saying can you pick up that yato vaimani bhutani jayante so uh, tad brahma can you pick that brahma no you cannot do anything e bhrigar vai varunih ityadi and then he says that tad vijijnyasasva tad brahma tad vijijnyasasva you know that brahma finally what can you do after let's say you know brahma what can you do you cannot do anything with this brahma you cannot interact with this brahma you cannot say say do tyaga havis tyaga not a havi also not adhikarana also not what is it then has to be swarup of yajmana and yajmana is already the one who is interacting you cannot interact with him any more that is all that there is it is revealing therefore aheya anupadetva siddha brahma paratve vedanta vakyas are siddha brahma para and tyajya grahya rahitam because aheya anupadey therefore tyajya you cannot do tyaga and you cannot do grahana also so tyajya grahya rahitam you cannot hold on to it this brahma you cannot give up brahma you cannot do anything with this brahma therefore nishprayojanatva sapekshatva prasangat 
निष्प्रयोजत्व वाय निष्प्रयोजन वॉट विल यू डू फाइनली यू नो आई डू आई हैव मोर टू से बट वी आर विल कंटिन्यू इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट आई जस्ट गिव अ सिंपल मीनिंग एंड देन वील लुक इन टू इट इनफ टुमोरो विल विल गो इन टू डेप्थ इन टू निष्प्रयोजन एंड सापेक्षत्व प्रसंग बट सिंस इट कैन नॉट बी पिक्ड अप एंड ड्रॉप देर फॉर वॉट दिस ब्रह्म विच इज रिवील्ड बाई शास निष्प्रयोजन एंड सापेक्षत्व मीन्स देन वॉट इज इट वेदवाक्य कैन नॉट बी सेट टू बी फ्यूटाइल so you have to take it as arthavada and arthavada has a dependency on vidhi vakya that vidhi vakya is the karma kanda says the puro pakshi therefore sapekshatva means apeksha apeksha sahitam apeksha sahavartate iti sapeksha or you can say sapeksha also sapeksha and then or vakyam if you say then sapeksham apeksha apekshaya sahavartate iti sapeksham वाक्यम वेदांत वाक्यम तस्य भाव सापेक्षत्व एंड देन दैट विल बी दी प्रसंग तस्य प्रसंग सो सापेक्षत्व से प्रसंगा निष्प्रयोजन से प्रसंगा यू विल हैव यूजलेस वाक्य एंड इट विल बी डिपेंडेंट ऑन एंड और इट विल बी डिपेंडेंट ऑन कर्म सो कर्म इज प्राइमरी देयर एंड दीज विल प्रधान एंड देन ऑल दीज वेदांत वाक्य विल बिकम ब्रह्म पर वाक्य विल बी वॉट they are having no use on their own so basically they are they have no swartha swartha para they aren't so they have to be interpreted in line with karma as substitute to karma and then thereby karma shesha kartradi para eva since they are dependent on karma they will become subsidiary to karma by revealing the karta swarupa and the karakas etc other karakas also इन समेज एव इति पूर्व पक्ष सो द पूर्व पक्षी से कर्मशेष कर्तरादि पराह सर्वे वेदांता वेर एज सिद्धांति विल काउंटर दिस विल लुक एट दि काउंटर बाय लुकिंग इन टू निष्प्रयोजत्व सापेक्षत्व इन दि एक्स पाठ टुमारो वी वोट हाव पाठ बींग थर्सडे थर्सडे आई डोट डू अ पाठ एंड फ्राइडे इज प्रथमा तिथि प्रथमा तिथि ऑलसो विल नॉट हाव पाठ सो आल सी यू ऑन शनिचर शनिवार शनि शनिवार सॉरी नॉट शनिचर शनिवार शनिचर वार सो शनिवार सो प्रियर नाम्नाक संसिध आदिमध्यावर्जित आनंद घन महापूर्ण आत्मज्योतिपास्मे एनी क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट पाठ नमस्ते धन्यवाद